I'm a rapper now. <laughs> Yo, oh my god. Okay. Mm, the vlog is back. Am I committing to it? We'll see. Listen, I'm a rapper now. The main thing is, just like my dunk journey, I had to be a dunker before I ever dunked. You have to commit to the journey. That's what I'm committed to. I'm committed to the journey of being a rapper. So I have so many things I want to share, but the main thing is I want to take you on this journey. I am a rapper now. It's been the most fun, exhilarating journey thus far, and it hasn't even started. I have my first live performance a week from today. Today's Friday, next Saturday the 22nd, so we'll see how that goes. As soon as I opened up the portal to become a rapper and start doing live performances, I had three in a week. Find his song. Yeah. Let's go. First of all, I set up to do this vlog so excited, and this is what I love about life. I sat on my bed just testing out this camera. I don't even have the right lens, all these doubts, but then I realized, oh my God, this was my very first vlog, like I did with dunking. Sat on my bed, no shirt, oh my God. What is up guys, it's finally time for my, I should probably put a shirt on. What's up guys, all right, my first vlog, it's kind of weird talking to nobody. I do that normally, but usually people aren't watching or that I don't record it. It was an amazing, synchronistic, parallel universe moment and I wanna share more of those with you. Beyond excited because now I have some proof of what Duncan can do when I follow these impulses of excitement and now I have all these new skills. Knowing my mindset, staying focused, creativity, understanding how I'm guided in the universe and what lights me up. All the skills I learned over 10 years and then the proof of what I can do with my body, now it's beyond my body. This is just one of those actions that I did not see coming and I want more of those, and I can't wait to share with you guys this journey. Are you pumped or what? The energy of the day is I started saying I'm a rapper, committing to that, and I can get into how I found my calling, but when I started saying that, now opportunities present themselves. I tell somebody I'm that, and they tell me, oh, I actually have a performance. I tell my friends that they're now listening to it. So it branches out. The second you speak it and you commit to it, you will start to notice these things. And that's why I love saying I am a rapper. Because if I was someone asked me for performance and I say, I love rapping, I, I try to rap. But if I say I'm a rapper and I'm just, that's who I am, now I have to do it. Like this performance, I've been saying I'm a rapper. Now this performance comes and they're like, hey, do you want to perform live? Do, do I have any idea? I have, yes, I have songs and I have, I've never done it. So it feels like all the dunk training and training, I mean vlog training as well, was training for me to get the balls to do this. If there's one thing I want you to take away from today and this entire journey is you have to be it. That is what be the energy is. What is your energy calling you towards. I would love your questions and I'm going to share my insights on how to follow your unique energy. It's about cutting away what anybody else says and just really getting clear on your heart. The word of the day is clarity. How can you get so clear on who you are and what lights you up and what's in the way of you acting on that? Why are you not doing what lights you up? Because what lights you up is going to light up the world. Butterfly. <sighs> This story is very cool of how I got to being a rapper through dunking, seeing it as a mountain. So I just wanted to share some of the pieces that a ways I found my gifts and how to find your own gifts. When I started dunking, it was just a dream, pure joy. That's nugget number one. And, and I let the possibility of imagine if this is possible, pull me towards the goal. And that was a huge lesson for me is that I was able to overcome all the doubts, all the fears, all the judgments simply because I was so excited by the possibility. That's the same as now with rapping. I was in corporate, nine to five job, did not like that. So I said, oh, maybe I could start vlogging. I start vlogging and I turn the camera on me and that helped me learn my love for expressing and just sharing and also just cameras, trying to follow what I love to do. So I was already documenting my dunk journey, but the vlog came from me saying, what if this is a way out of my corporate job? So just trying things, listening to those inspirations and thinking, I would enjoy this. I saw vloggers blowing up on YouTube, hugely inspired by Casey Neistat. This would be an amazing thing to do instead of working at the job I'm at. Then as I started vlogging, I'm thinking of other ways. So I started a podcast. 
Now what ha they both had in common is when I would make my videos, try to make them better just for fun, just for fun. And I would add music. And then I loved adding music. I realized how fun it was to create the video. Then I said, this video needs an intro. Then I started making my own raps to that music just for the intros of my video. You guys know the Dunk Life Anthem. I just gotta walk in the door and do it. Ah! Stop, never stop, always in attack. Locked in the path, never getting off track. Ah! And it's not bad, and I got my ah! back. Price is right, never change, bro, I don't get it. Then looking at other ways to quit my corporate job, I was thinking podcasts are blowing up. They just started and they're even more monetizable. I never was great at monetizing it, but this is another way. This is another revenue stream. And this was a big pivotal moment because when I went to buy my first podcast microphone, I got one that was for music as well, for rapping as well, not strictly speaking. I just got a brand new car. Well, it's a 2016, but it's an Audi. It's cool. Just got a brand new whip. I do not want a house. I want a foreign little trip, talking Asia and the South, I throw it and I'ma go get it, fuck it I go off the dribble, just wanna dunk amazing, welcome to dunk like daily, I want more time to spit, need more support from the click, I don't want worry about shit, 6 in the morning I rip, you throw it I'm smashing the lobbies, don't jump for catching a body, this is much more than a hobby, your boy going up come and watch me. Yeah, who's doing this? What am I doing? So that's one of those moments where I had this inclination, I'm gonna do more music and it was just for fun again. And then came the point when I was just deep in corporate and I would write some raps just to express what I feel. It was just a therapeutic thing for myself and looking back, it's manifested this life that I've wanted. If you listen to my raps, it's I'm living the life that I would talk about in those raps and I didn't know about it till I started sharing my raps. Our stars and us is so similar. We shine bright but never reach the limelight and we hardly get noticed. Our life gets lost in emotion. The only goal is promotion but that's not where I am focused. So I write lines to unwind, let loose and produce the same music I was using to that loop, confusing movements, looking clueless. That's the reason that I do this, and I'm looking at my life like, did I choose this? What I see now is that when I'm super aligned and feeling amazing, I like to share from that frequency, and it's tapping into things in the future. So not only are my raps manifesting the future, but they are healing me. They are allowing me to have fun. They allowed me to still feel like I'm being expressed. Even if no one heard the rap, I'm like, I just want to get this out. That's my energy is externalizing and, and sharing and expressing. Others may be responding and taking in information, I need to go somewhere to take in information. It's about learning your flow. So once I quit my corporate job, I'm like, let me see if I can make a music video, just make the best raps I can. I got inspired to make better and better raps. Had a bad day, but I bounced right back. This no fluke, cause I'm on my path. When I hit that speed, gotta stay on track. There are no shortcut, you already know that. How you feel like that? His genetics are nice. This song work ain't six inch twice. Yes, I'm blessed, but I still gotta press. God, do what you can, but you gotta do the rest. I'm preaching this shit like your boy at a sermon. Stop with the search and start with the work. And I've been dropping knowledge, my YouTube at college with all of my videos could have already been flying. Because they started to get decent and just like, ha, <laughs> dunk life. Just like I started to get decent and dunking, I'm like, what's the top here? And I started doing windmills and between the legs and dunk contests and then dunk camp. So with rapping, I'm like, let me see how far I can take this. Look how good I got with photography and videography. Let me see how good I can get with music, this expression that's so much fun. And that's what I kept following. And now it was like the biggest commitment, the scariest yet saying, I'm gonna be a rapper and now I'm doing it. To say it right now feels insanely exciting because I've removed all the blocks and I see that I can just allow this fun to take me. Hold up my guy, asking me how did you figure it out? I didn't got rid of the doubt, shit was a cloud, wow, that's pretty profound. Oh my god, this is like a magical day and I'm so grateful to share it with you and I'm so pumped to go on this journey, not just achieve the things, it's so fun, I know it's possible now and it's not that I know it's possible that I'm excited for the, the journey and the destination, I'm so excited to see what unfolds because now I have the proof of what dunking led to from new dunks to insane hype and insane videos and connections and the people I met in dunk camp and all these different things that to think about where it's going. So thank you for your support, merch coming soon. There'll be ways you can support me and I appreciate all of that. I just wanna shine and I want to lead by example and I want you guys to realize whatever your dreams are, you don't have to explain how you know them. You know them, you know what you're feeling and you know what's calling you. I could go nuts right now.
Living my dream, already been pinched Shoot from the heart, how can I miss? What if I told you I've no idea what my path is? What if I told you I left it up to the universe and it mapped it? What if I told you I saw it all and it came true? Can you imagine? Yeah, I just spoke the word and it happened I'm detached and feel the passion I'm a magnet, living magic Look, Ma, we finally made it. We made it Yeah, we knew it all along Just had to find the patience Everything that I can see already been created Every step up on this journey Been my destination And now I'm here 